everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make mason jar cozies out of thrift store sweaters and how you can either use them in your Christmas decor or give them as gifts this year. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping by. Today I am taking part in Hillary of my so-called homes $5 Goodwill challenge. I love these challenges because it's so fun to try to come up with something unique and beautiful for my home from the thrift store. If you're new to my channel, I talk a lot about DIY and home decor ideas on a budget. I have kind of a farmhouse, boho chic style. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell when you subscribe to be the first to hear of my latest videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really adorable little mason jar cozies. There's a couple of different variations as well as these sweet little upcycled sweater Christmas ornaments and I'm going to show you how you can either package them as a gift this year or how you could use them in your home decor this Christmas. Make sure to check out Hillary's channel. She has so many fabulous home decor ideas. They just bought a new house that they're renovating. And also check the playlist in the description box below to see all of the videos in this $5 Goodwill challenge. Let's get started. You might remember these thrift store sweaters I found last week and made some handmade mittens out of. Together they totaled $8 Canadian, which I'd say is right around $5 American. So I'm gonna use them today for this $5 Goodwill challenge. So I cut the bottom part of the sleeve off of one of them, and then I just took a needle and thread and started going in and out about half an inch of distance between my stitches around the edge that I cut off the sleeve. So it's basically just a really nice long running stitch. And then once you go all the way around, you're going to pull it to gather the bottom. And then you're just going to go through with the needle a couple of times in the center of that gathered section and then make a knot. and then cut the excess thread. And then take a mason jar, this is just a standard sized mason jar and put it right into the mason jar cozy. And I liked to kind of fold that top edge to make a little cuff. So one idea for this little mason jar and this mason jar cozy is you could put some LED string lights inside and use it kind of as a luminary or a little lantern for your Christmas decor this year. Here's another way you can make a little mason jar cozy. So I took the other sweater that I made the DIY mittens from and I cut out one of the really pretty cable sections. And then I took a smaller mason jar and I just wrapped that cut out cable section around the jar and then just took my hot glue gun and put a nice blob of glue on the back of the mason jar and then just simply pushed the sweater piece into that glue. So you really wanna use a generous amount of hot glue here so that your threads on your sweater don't unravel. So I did glue the sides, the sides that I cut around the mason jar like this. And then I also decided to glue around the top and the bottom just to make sure that this piece was secure to my mason jar and the yarn wouldn't unravel. So this is more of a permanent cozy, but I think this could work really well as a beautiful candle holder for kind of that hygge vibe or that cozy Scandi vibe. And it would also make a nice DIY gift for someone as well or to use in your Christmas decor. Finally, here's how I made a Christmas ornament out of one of the sweaters that I am using using. So I just took a Christmas cookie cutter and I used a Sharpie and I just traced around the cutter and then I pinned the front and back of the sweater together like this and then I just cut out along the Sharpie lines. I loved using this sweater for this project because it had the sequins in it so it made these really sparkly little ornaments. So after you've cut the shape out keep the pins in and then take a yarn needle and some contrasting yarn and then you're going to blanket stitch all the way around this ornament. So to blanket stitch you just put your yarn in, put it in again about half an inch away and then before you pull the yarn tight just go in again with your needle and pull the yarn through that loop that you just made. So continue doing a blanket stitch like this all the way around your ornament and you're going to go almost all the way around but just make sure to leave about a half inch opening at the end. So I'm using a gray thrifted sweater for this project and some cream colored contrasting yarn. 
So here I am finished and I just have this hole here and I'm just going to use some polyester fiber fill here and just a little amount and I'm going to stuff it into this hole and this just kind of gives your handmade ornament a little bit of body. Once you've put enough fiber fill into your ornament, simply finish blanket stitching the whole shot here. And once you finish stitching, just make a knot at the end and cut the excess yarn off. Then I took some yarn and I pulled it through one of the points of the star that I made and I cut it to about the size I wanted the hanging piece to be and I tied a knot in it. And my little upcycled sweater ornament is all done. We're back to this mason jar cozy here. Another idea to give it as a gift is put some yummy candies in it. My favorite are Kit Kats. And then you can put the lid on it just like this, wrap some baker's twine around it, and attach one of your handmade upcycled sweater ornaments like this. Tie the twine into a bow, add a little bit of faux greenery, and this is a really cute little gift. For this one, I just put some candy canes inside, and again, I took some baker's twine, wrapped it around the neck of the mason jar, added a little bit of faux greenery, and this makes for another cute gift. So here are my little luminaries, my candle holder, and my gifts. So a few different fun ideas you can use to upcycle more of that sweater and use them in your Christmas decor or as unique and adorable handmade gifts this year. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below which of these DIYs was your favorite. Again, make sure to check out the description box below for the link to the playlist to see all of the videos in this $5 Goodwill challenge. Thanks so much to Hillary for hosting this challenge, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.